the staffing crunch for first responders is costing cities and counties tens of millions of dollars in overtime, money that sometimes is not even in the budget. One department worked more than 71,000 hours of overtime in a year. Mm -hmm. WRL investigates Sarah Kruger breaks down new numbers that show the highest spenders. Having only a few firefighters on duty really isn't an option. We have a required minimum staffing every day, and that requires us to have so many people on fire trucks at all times. Durham Fire Chief Robert Zoldo says the need to keep trucks staffed and operational to respond to emergencies, even when the department has about 35 vacancies, is likely why they earned more overtime than any other department, according to numbers provided by the city. Some of the strength of the, of the Durham Fire Department comes from the people who don't mind stepping up and working that extra overtime. Through a public records request, WRL Investigates got these results about overtime spent in fiscal year 2023. In every city and county, first responders occupied the top spots. In Wake County, there was a total of roughly 16 million spent on overtime. Nearly half of that went to Wake County EMS, followed by three and a half million for the Sheriff's Office. In Durham County, the Sheriff's Office was a clear number one. Employees there worked more than 71 thousand hours in overtime alone, just over three million dollars. In Fayetteville, police were the biggest earners of OT. In Raleigh, it was the fire department on top, spending nearly four million, more than three and a half times what the city budgeted. And in the city of Durham, Zoldo says the fire department earned just over a million dollars in overtime, exceeding the overtime budget three times over. It's it's a hard time to staff anything in public safety. Um, I'm sure our neighbors are, are going through the same problem. But operationally, we're 9% uh, down, and that hurts. Zoldo says some of his employees like the overtime to bring in extra money. With so many extra hours, Zoldos's focus is on ensuring employees' mental well-being, along with recruiting and retaining. We have the largest recruit school uh, we've ever had. We do need to pay our people uh, where they need to be, and, and our city manager's working on that. Sarah Kruger, WRAL News, Durham. Chief Zoldos told WRAL once that new academy graduates with roughly 50 applicants, the department expects to be fully staffed.